Okay, so can we be heard? Hmm? Andrea it, specifically, can you be levels. heard? I hope so. I could be heard. Alex? Yeah. Wave to the camera. Hi. Shit! <laughs> ah. Okay, uh, give me a quick second. Let me see if I can fix this. Ah, I see what happened. Uh, let me see if I can fix it right now. Oh, god damn it. No, I can't. Andrea, there are too many cords on the floor. Uh, so his camera has been disconnected. Uh. There's too many fucking cords! Oh, god damn it, Andrea, your flexibility. <laughs> I wish I could put this on film, people. No, don't worry about tugging it. Well, I'm trying to balance myself. I, I get it. <laughs> wow, that's that's fiery weather, isn't it? Why? Because we're in Rudania. Okay, so it's plugged in. Uh, let me see if I can fix it. Oh, oh, oh. It is recognizing it, so... All right, Alex, wave to the camera. Yeah, it's working. Pull the camera down so people can see him. See my nice shirt. And, it, and his anime shirt. It's actually a game, but yeah. Oh, is it a game? Yeah. I can't even tell. You like it? Yeah. I, no, I, I, well, I, I, not from the view on that. Yeah. What, is it Pokemon? No, it's a game called One Shot. Okay, so... Uh, and let me really quick check the audio, and then we can start up, but I want to make sure that everything is working. Because uh, we've already had so many issues. So, speak into the mic, Andrea. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay. Alex? Uh, how do I sound? Do I sound okay? Okay, good, okay. good, good. All right, we're, we're good. All right, everything is working. I forgot to turn off the soundboard when I plugged in Andrea's mic, so I was a little worried. All right, welcome everybody to Breath of the Wild with uh, Divine Beast Va Rudania. And Alex has already started up the dungeon. Apparently. Because that's what he's doing. So I have to ask this question right off the bat, guys. Um, and I'm not meaning to be offensive or anything like that to Zelda fans. Um, we're almost done with July. We were promised a Nintendo Direct, a Zelda-based Nintendo Direct in July. Were we? Uh, July or August. It was going to be in the summer. So are, are we upset that it hasn't happened yet? Mm, not really. It'd be you, nice. You're not. Okay. So, Andrea, are you upset? No, not really. It'll come in time. Are you sure about that? I mean, I, I'm I'm one of those lowly Xenoblade fans, and I got one. Yeah. You're not resentful? <laughs> I, I've met a few people that are. My brother being one of them. It's like, there was actually one point he was like, well, you suck. <laughs> like, why do I suck? You got a Xenoblade one, and I didn't get a Zelda one. Well, it's not like it's not going to happen. Yeah, but you got one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, man. It's not my fault. I I started playing Breath of the Wild myself. Yes, you did. And uh, the girls will not let you do it. Because they want you to go off and do random things. I'm pretty sure yes. Yes. I've or, seen it. They, they enjoy I? when she goes shield surfing. Or when she uh, goes, off and picks, uh, goes off and picks fights with random outposts. Oh, I do need that the, the kids like that Crap. more than than the actual story. That makes me so sad, Alex. My kids aren't interested in story. <laughs> well, I'm heading to the to the, Z the Z Zora Palace right now. Okay, so you're you're gonna do um. Crap! What's his name? Uh, because Rodania is the the chameleon. Um, the elephant one. Ruta. Yeah. Ruta. So you're gonna start with Ruta. All right, Mo most most new players do that, and then they wise up, and they usually go to either uh, uh, Meadow or Naboris. In in the case of Alex Naboris, 
I, that's mean because I, I actually do know a few people who who looked at Alex starting getting a Boris and went, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Because then he then he gets her her uber power, like but but the meadow. Then then you get the exploration bonus. That's true. I would once again, once again, this is just re-emphasizing, guys. There is no wrong way to do Zelda. There really isn't. And that's one of the things I love about the series. You can do it however so, the fuck you want. So you can say it's not wrong to say you're going to go and try and fight Calamity Ganon at the very beginning. You know, with the very minimal There are stuff. people that do it. I know. I've done it. You I, I've done it and I, I got destroyed. <laughs> but I wanted to try it. I wanted to see if it could be done. And it can't. You just and it's be, fucking hard. You just have to be very smart about it. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. Um, I really wanted the Master Sword as opposed to the uh, the Boku Club I had. <laughs> Alex will understand my Who pain. Who wants a Master Sword when you could have a, a Boku Club? Just kidding. I, I, I'm just kidding. This is why I really wish we, we could have just started with the Master Sword, but that's me, and, and I've had this argument so many times with people. It's like, that would have been stupid. I'm like, no, it's not! Because the, then you could have done a whole mechanic about have, having the Master Sword gain its power back. Oh, you're instead, instead of having that fucking gauntlet dungeon that did it. Are you maxed out on your stan Stanimus wheel? Think so? Yeah. Oh, cool. No, the real question is, do you have enough hearts for the no. Master Sword? So you have to have, what, 13? You have to have 13. Well, you have to have past 13. Because if you have 13 even, you'll die. Okay. Looks like he's barely past it, so... Okay. I can't count the little hearts on the screen. It's hard to stare at the hearts, and you're like, how many do you well, have? Well, because some of them are out, so it's hard to see them. Okay, so I wanted to make sure, like, because I've, I've seen a few people who are like... He's got um, 15 hearts. We're irritated because Xenoblade got their own direct. We're irritated because uh, they did a third-party direct. And, look, I get it. You're going to get a Zelda one. My guess is they pushed it out because they had to delay. So, they, like, something tells me that at that event, they were going to reveal the, the subtitle. And at that point, like that was gonna that was gonna spar uh, spur the conversation until the game came out. So, uh, Onuma is is playing his cards right. So hopefully people aren't mad. Hopefully people are are replaying Breath of the Wild in preparation for Breath of the Wild two, or maybe you're off playing Genshin Impact or some other open world survival game because that's what you're doing. Perhaps. Or maybe you're playing a good Breath of the Wild clone like Horizon Forbidden West. Yes, but does it have waifus in it? Well, Aloy. Zoe. <laughs> Gaia. Beta. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I keep going? <laughs> good what? I he said it doesn't have any good waifus in it. Oh. So I, I was just listing off every female character. Um, except, except uh, Alma. We, we, is that her name? I think so. Alva. Uh, Alva. Yeah. Uh, not her. Why not? She, I don't know. She's got the funky, weird lesbian haircut. It doesn't really work. <laughs> <laughs> and, you think, and you think beta is even better? I, I could see fanfiction being made of beta, yes. Okay. I could see fanfiction of Aloy and beta, honestly. <laughs> Which, at that point, I have to ask this question. Would that be considered masturbation? It might. Well, she is a clone. So if you're having sex with your clone, does that mean you're having sex with yourself? I guess so. So would that be considered masturbation? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is like... I don't know how to answer this. <laughs> it's right. I've answered the question. And it's yes. Or um, what? 
crap, what's her name? The the Oh, she the the Far Zenith one that joins us in the end. Oh, I can't remember her name. I don't think her name is Olivia. Why do I want to say Olivia? Um, I mean, you could you could probably do that. But we know who you're talking about. Not to mention all of the Elizabeth. That, that's another female. Who Aloy is a clone of. Who Beta is a clone of. <laughs> you, ha you have spurred on a bunch of fanfics, Andrea. And you don't even know it. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure I'm going to look on, on Tumblr or wherever, and it's going to be nothing but Aloy getting super pregnant. Especially since she has, like, a mother complex with... Would that be considered incest? Yes. <laughs> I've seen... I've seen enough anime to know. <laughs> well, because technically Aloy is the clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So, uh, uh, but she constantly views Sobek as a motherly figure. So would that be considered incest? Yes. Okay, all right. We have the second opinion from the anime expert. <laughs> the anime and the xenomorph expert. Because <laughs> we, don't, we don't do enough with the xenomorph stuff yet. Yeah. At least. Well, we gotta do that. Not yet. That alien watch together. Um, yeah, so we, we've actually been talking about this. Um... I, I have a feeling, guys, we're going to be seeing you guys. You guys are going to get your your voices heard and we're going to be doing a lot more geek news movie nights and stuff like that. And one of the ones we've been talking about is Alex and I watching the alien movies, because in case you're brand spanking new, I've never seen them. Yes, I am a child of the 80s. I have never seen any of the alien movies. No, I will not hand you my 80s kid card. <laughs> If you knew my mom, you would know why I never saw the Alien movies as a kid. That and, and my, my dad actually didn't like Alien either. But. Like, I, like, like I've said a couple of times, there were two movies that were outlawed in my in my household. And they, they were only because both my my dad and my older brother got nightmares from them. The original Ridley Scott Alien. And uh, the original T uh, movie Poltergeist. That's it. So, because Alien was outlawed, I was not allowed to see things like Aliens. Even though I found out later that both my uh, my dad and my brother watched all of the other Alien movies, they just refused to go back to one. Really? Yes, because it because quote it gave them nightmares. Yeah, that is pretty scary. Well, because at that point, like. The emphasis was horror, right? Yeah. Instead of, like... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, the, the later movies, it's more action. A little more action, yeah. The only one I've heard that that isn't the case is maybe... Um, one of the AVP movies. It went a little bit more horror, but I would argue that it's still action-y. Yeah, the, the because sequel. Predator, Because Predator, even the original Predator, was not really a horror movie. It was an action movie. Yeah. Yeah, like the sequel to AVP was a lot more horror because people complained that the original was toned down in PG-13. So at that point, yeah, um, that that would be, I think, the argument there. But the fact that Alien was strictly horror and then the other ones went action, maybe that's why. Yeah. So what you're basically saying is, is that I'm never going to be the same as soon as we watch it. You might not be. I don't know. Uh, so w what we're basically going to be doing is when we're on vacation, we're going to be watching at 12 noon where all the all like all the days, like midday, all the windows are open so that I can sleep the next night. Uh, you can just watch it at night. <laughs> we got to watch it at night. Why do you want why do you want me to not sleep? <laughs> oh, come on. You played Resident Evil 7. I doubt that you had any nightmares and you could you see yeah i played village too and i had problems sleeping after that i didn't think so and actually i did have problems sleeping after seven 
um, when I did the the drac tries before you were brought in. You actually had problems. Like yes, because it grossed me the fuck out. Okay. If you've seen that opening scene, you get exactly why it grossed me the fuck out. Or maybe Marguerite ought to force you to eat month-old dead meat. Uh, but yeah, that's one we've talked about is the Alien movies. Um, to which I, I, the other big conversation that has happened there is basically uh, catching Drac up on every 80s classic that I missed. So for so for example, Alien, Predator, um, Rocky, uh, Conan has been brought up too, because I haven't seen the Arnold Schwarzenegger Conan all the way through. Uh, but my only question is, does this eventually involve Krull? I might or or the Last Starfighter. Does it, does it involve the original Willow? That one I might say no to. I do remember watching that, and that was pretty freaky. I can't remember what scene it was, but it was actually fucking freaky. So. Now, whether or not Alex joins me on those, I don't know. Maybe. I think it'll depend on whether or not he's interested. After we, do, after we watch Alien, we gotta play Isolation. Wouldn't I need to play? Wouldn't I need to see the other movies to for it to make sense? No, because it's a. Uh, is it literally based like after the first one? Yeah, it's okay. an integral. So I mean, you might want to see Aliens, I guess, but just because it explains. Well, but then we have two podcasts there, and then we then we could have a let's play that is advertised by two podcasts. Yeah. I'm just saying, Alex. Think of the RSS feed. Think of the RSS feed. He's not thinking of the RSS feed. He just wants to play Alien Isolation. <laughs> I do. I love that game. Um, I actually just maxed. Achie I just platinumed it. Got all the achievements. In isolation. Yeah. Okay. On Steam, anyway. I haven't. What type of game is it, Alex? It's a survival. Horror. Yeah, survival horror stealth. Yeah. So is it like your third person shooting type or first person? And you said you didn't like first person that much. I don't, but... He loves Alien. <laughs> okay. And he made the sacrifice. Plus, the... the I hate first person too, Andrea. <laughs> I played Metroid Prime. Yeah, I know. I made the sacrifice. Plus, with, with isolation, the emphasis is on stealth and surviving. It's... You don't have to do combat if you don't want to. And did you? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. There's... Do you prefer the stealth approach or do you prefer the action approach? I prefer the stealth approach, for at least for the alien one. Okay. Because it's just a little more, a little more intense and a little more fun. And plus it's just, I'm awful at, <laughs> at first-person shooters, so. Well, no, yeah, I Yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't catch him on Call no, of Duty. No, I gotta probably see you play that. Don't say that. <laughs> because, we're, because this creates another problem, too, that I, I need to mention here. Uh, because some people have been asking, you know, we just barely beat Mega Man 8. And so, of course, everybody asks the, the, the next thing we're, what's, what's the next game you're moving on to? And we have a little bit of a problem because a lot of the games that we could then move on to, Andrea wants to be involved in. <laughs> and then we have an issue because then we have full nights where Andrea is required to be there. So it's kind of hard to set up the streams, is what I'm saying. Yeah. So we'll have to figure this crap out. I don't have to be involved in every single one. Well, that's kind of what I'm saying, is we might eventually have to do something like where we stream it again, but we stream it for, for my channel. Oh, yeah. And and just give a, a different impression yeah. kind of thing. But <laughs> you say that, and I'm just like, oh, shit. That's another one we have to work out. <laughs> As long as I get to be involved in the Resident Evil, I'm fine with that. Alex, you're supposed to tell her. <laughs> tell her what? We, we're kicking her out of all the Resident Evil streams. Oh, yeah. I would kick your butt. <laughs> <laughs> now I know why you didn't tell her. Because <laughs> she'd probably murder you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, no. It, 
but it's definitely one of those things where we have to kind of re refigure things out because one of the things that helps with Dragon Shadow Live the way it is is it accommodates for Andrea being late, which sometimes work requires her to be. Yeah. So at that point, like we can we can do it this way, and we can also have like it actually be Dragon Shadow, and then Andrea can be involved in some of it. Kind of thing. So I haven't had. So what I'm basically saying, everybody, is that uh, I haven't gone full no girls allowed yet. <laughs> no girls but with I a might. Z. What? Girls with a U and a Z. Yeah, exactly. No girls allowed with a U and a Z. And and one L. And it, it actually it's A L O W D. Because <laughs> that's how you'd spell it as a kid. Yeah. And then we have the Charlie Brown music. No girls allowed. Right. Oh, ah! I'm dead. Well, Hyrule's doomed. Dude. Anyone, yeah. anyone wants, anyone wants Man, a barbecue? Damn it! I almost wanted like a bloop <laughs> from the lava. Did, I'm disappointed. Is anyone hungry for some barbecue link? No, no. I might be hungry for some Beyond Link. No, I'm kidding. Beyond Meat sounds disgusting. I don't know. Marta tried it. She said it was good. That is Marta's opinion. But as we found out, Marta has also killed dogs when she gave me crap for killing zombie dogs. Have I told you about this? Uh, probably. We, we found out from Kasaibo that she actually had no problem killing the dogs in The Last of Us Part 2. I don't When she chastised me for like an hour when I was playing Resident Evil, uh, like classic Resident Evil for killing zombie doggos. Well, she might have killed them, but I don't think she liked it. Oh, oh, oh. Kasaibo said she enjoyed it. Oh, Kasaibo's full of shit. <laughs> don't Are say you saying that. Kasaibo lied to me? Yes, I am saying that. Okay. Proof, sir! I think I know her. Know her better than anyone. More than her husband? Well, probably her uh, husband knows okay, her Okay, that. good, you corrected. Well, okay, not more than her husband. But I know her very well. Yes, yes, because her husband should know her better than that. <laughs> yes, yes, he should. Unless you have a confession that you'd like to make on the stream. I don't think so. Okay. Versus last terminal, I don't know. Yeah, so uh, speaking of the other uh, of, of the movie stuff, so that's actually something that I might also bring up to you guys, too. I was trying to think of some other movies that we could do. I mean, obviously, the one that came to my mind this year was we could probably do James Cameron's Avatar because the sequel yeah. is coming out in the summer. But um, I think also another cool thing to do would be uh, see what movies are celebrating an anniversary this year. I'm not saying like a 32 year, like yeah. I'm saying like solid five years, five, 10 years, so five, 10, 20, 30 kind of thing. And maybe do that and, and we can cover a lot more movies. So maybe that'll happen because uh, as much as people love the regular podcast, I have started to notice our, our listener base more going towards the analysis stuff. So uh, movie nights, uh, I have some excitement for the game nights, and then we also have anime night, marathon night. Those those do better in a lot of cases than uh, the podcast where we cover the news. I'm not saying that the, the regular podcast so doesn't... So it's got to be up there somewhere. It seems so. You think it's on the spine of it? And I'm not saying that the regular podcast is, is getting retired or whatever, because I don't want to do that. I, I still actually like talking the news and having silly stories and stuff like that. It feels like a regular podcast to me, but I also don't mind reviewing movies and reviewing TV series and stuff like that. Hence why I in, I have actually put out an open invitation for Alex and me to do series if we want to uh, for Geek News Anime Night or whatever. Yeah. So I, I don't mind doing that, but, you know, there's a lot of fucking movies out there. And so we, there's a lot of stuff that we can hit. You know, like, for example, we, we all love John Wick, right? Yeah, that well, was a good movie. We actually, uh, we have two other John Wick movies. 
that we could go do. Yeah, we could. Or actually, we're about to have three because John Wick 4 got announced today. Oh, cool. Uh-huh. What is John Wick? John Wick is... um. Jeez, how do I explain John Wick to somebody who's not watched John Wick? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Andrea, you like Die Hard, right? Yeah. Uh, you probably have never seen Rambo. Uh, but you kind of get the premise of Die Hard, right? Where yeah. it's like hardcore action movie. Yeah. That's basically John Wick. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, Can you turn the, sto- the stories are different, okay. but, but. Uh, that's basically what what John Wick is supposed to be, right? Is mm-hmm. like it's a modern day Die Hard kind of thing, like uh, it, or it's catering to the Die Hard audience. That's yeah. Just usually when you say Die Hard, when. People yeah, it's cri- not it's not a rip off the story. Yeah, it's just well when people use Die Hard, they also tend use that in a like oh it's, oh, it's a bottleneck there. story. Where is it? It's got to be where that whatever it is. See all that stuff inside there. Wow. Well, Andrea, say the term properly. I don't it know. is a darkness vagina. I don't know. What <laughs> We've covered this in Strangers of Paradise. By the way, that might be a game that you and I have to play through, Alex. Just for all the chaos references. Okay. I I am nominating Jack from Strangers of Paradise to be like one of the the best characters of Final Fantasy history because of we, all the chaos how do we references. Get rid of, how do we get rid of that stuff? I don't know. I don't see a mouse. Oh, eye. right there. Oh. Well, that's the mouth. It's not the eye. Oh, there's the there's eye. There's the eye. I was like, there's the eye of Sauron. <laughs> Not the Rings of Power one. The actual one. You know, the one that's actually based off of Tolkien's work. Oh, Yay, snap. I found it. Yay. You did. So, Alex, are you ready for Fire Blight? I'm totally ready. Okay, cool. You saw? I handled that. Was I actually, actually speaking of John Wick 4, I do actually want to bring this up too, uh, and maybe on the podcast, I don't know. Uh, so Keanu, you know, like this keeps coming up where, uh, you know, how many more movies are you going to go do? Like how many more of this movie are you going to do with, with various actors and some saying that, you know, eventually I'll, I'll want to retire from it. Mm-hmm. I actually like Keanu's answer recently when he got asked today, like, how many John Wick movies are you planning on doing? As many as the fans want. Well, that's nice. I think that's appropriate, isn't it? Yeah. Because once the fans get tired of it, they will naturally kind of tell him, we don't want this anymore. And then he'd be like, OK, I can move on to something else now. Yeah. I think he's he's learned the lesson that he needed to learn from Matrix 4. Which is, if the fans don't want it, don't waste your time and go make it. Yeah. Be careful. He's pooping. Hmm. Nintendo, you don't realize how many poop jokes you've made in this game, and I will exploit them all. I don't feel bad about it. In the slightest. <laughs> Freeze the shit out of him. Don't go to the poop nozzles. That's some fiery diarrhea, I'm just saying. <laughs> Why does Drag constantly focus on poop? Because that's my personality. I've been laughing at poop jokes since I was 10 years old with my older brother, and guess what? We're both considerably older, and we still laugh at poop jokes. <laughs> I thought your older brother also, like... Oh, no, dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, him and me will still laugh at poop jokes to this day. Oh, I thought you said your little brother, and I'm like... What? Uh, he, he enjoys them. He enjoys them. He, he's just not totally into them. Oh, yeah. Alex is kind of the same way. He, he likes them. He's just not totally into them. <laughs> that's true. But like me and Al- uh, me and my older brother, if we are having like a day where, you know, maybe things are going wrong, then all we have to do is send each other a poop joke and that, that makes it better. That, that's the way it goes. And in Zelda, there's lots of poop jokes. I have no problem saying that. 
and all the people who want to say no, there isn't. I mean, uh, your price you for fighting nine hundred all nine hundred Korok seeds is a piece uh, of poop. Well, the other thing I was gonna say is then you haven't been playing Zelda because anybody who played Link to the Past and didn't do like grabbing onto something and pulling it. back to have that poop stance, you're lying to yourself. Because I'm guaranteeing you, Get you over did here, that. You fuck. I did it. I did it on a, I did it on our playthrough. I think. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Zelda has lots of poop jokes and yes the Korok seeds are one of them <laughs> I just wish we could take that golden poop award and send it over to Electronic Arts I just want to see like 200,000 people do that ah now he has the barrier Oh, Andrew, I need to get you caught up on this. So, uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe just announced Phase 6. Really? Yes. Okay. Where they're going to be going into the Marvel multiverse. Okay. This doesn't worry you in the slightest. That you're going to have to keep track of multiple Spider-Mans. And multiple X-Mans. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, we can't call them X-Men anymore. Shouldn't they be X-People? No, they <laughs> should be the mutants. That's not what they're calling. That's now, the, the new movie. Oh, cool! It's gonna be the mutants. No, it's not. It's the X Men. But they are mutants, though. They are mutants, but they are also the X Men. <laughs> they just don't like to call them X Men because there's women there too. I'm sure. Kind of sexist, isn't it? Well, what's wrong with being sexy? <laughs> Which is exactly what James Rolfe should be applauded for, for saying in that. What's wrong with being sexy? Yeah, so they announced uh, six, and then they also announced that I guess they're going to mess around Bam, with... Bam! Bullet timed his ass. Yes, you did. I think I need to rename you to Max Payne, Alex, because you bullet timed his ass. And you don't even know who Max Payne is? No, I don't. <laughs> that might be a game we have to we have to take on. That that would be up your alley, I think. Andrea, I'm not sure. It's kind of depressing. Andrea doesn't do well with depressing material. Ooh. Well, but again, you don't do well with depressing material either, but you can <laughs> handle it. I don't do well with depressing material. Are you kidding me? I deal with depressing material at work. This is true. That's true. Th this is true. What are you saying? Well, then you okay. want to escape. So if we yeah. play visual novels, don't do bad endings. Got it. <laughs> is there such a thing as a bad ending in a visual novel? Oh, well, yes. Not you, all. End, you end up with one girl or another. Well, it depends on the VN, but there are visual novels that have story routes that have bad endings oh crap you're gonna you're gonna subject her to doki doki literature club aren't you i might but i still want <laughs> i still want to do nurse nurse love syndrome first i heart you <laughs> and another game that that has been recommended to us i guess it just barely came out it's a game called Stray, where it's a stealth game, and you play as a stray cat. Oh, that sounds cute. Give me a hug. <laughs> no. You named an ancestor Drac. You're grounded, Daruk. <laughs> you mean a descendant. What did I say? You said ancestor. My bad. I meant ascending. Sorry. Sorry, had to do it. You want to know one thing these ghosts have never done? Oh shit, I'm on fire!
Actually, it would be funny if he used Daruk's protection, and then because he's a ghost, it made him solid. <laughs> it's like, there I go through the wall. Bam! 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 I didn't think that through. Ooh. It's awfully polygonal. Oops, I farted. That's what conjures forth the bubble, isn't it? I have corrupted you. This is great. All right, Alex, that is all four Divine Beasts. Woohoo! Um, so what does that leave in the game that we have to do? Shrines. Shrines. And memories. Memories. Please, no Koronox. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea's going for the Golden Poop Award, and I've, I've already warned her. Alex, you, you need to join me on this. You need to tell her that the Golden Poop Award is not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. It is worth it when you're a col you're completionist. completionist. I think even Gerard the Completionist said it wasn't worth it. Still. I have to do it at I least might be once. wrong, but... I have to do it at least once. You have to scratch that Completionist itch. Is yeah. that what you're saying? You know, when you have, you have so many target sites on you... You, somebody would eventually just give up. But not Calamity Ganon. I'm sorry, you need to say it. Calamity Ganon. No, instead, he just wants more. And by wait, I mean like another week or two. Or three. Or four. <laughs> I don't know, is Drac going to keep canceling these streams? No. Sorry. <laughs> Oh shit, they named one Drac! I'm sorry, Drac, you should be. I would be co I would be totally fine with it if he wasn't such a schlub. <laughs> but you're famous in the game. I'm famous for being a schlub! <laughs> well, I'm not a schlub! I'M NOT A SCHLUB IN A DIAPER! <laughs> okay, that's not a diaper. CLOSE ENOUGH! <laughs> Daruk's protection! And there you go, you have all four buffs. Woo! Now you are a god. So kind of. It's me. Did you say different ones each time? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, I caught Smeef. Which what was the other one? Slurp. Oh, uh, how dare you bring up Slurp? <laughs> I mean, after all, he won against Spance, <laughs> and I'm I'm mad about that. Because Spance is better. There you go. Yeah, unpopular opinion. I actually don't like their Ocarina of Time playthrough. Why do I not like it? Because Aaron complains <laughs> most of the time. He does that all the time. He does, in fact. But at least with Twilight Princess, we got SPEEDS! <laughs> well, did they complain? Well, which one was worse then? Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time? Do, 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 you, want to, do you want to know what makes Ocarina of Time playthrough for the Game Grumps great? The comment section. <laughs> because that's the one that started the whole Aaron can't play video games.
which they then continued in Twilight Princess, and it got even better. Especially after he he missed a a specific mission that I can't mention yet. <clears throat> All right, so uh, yeah, we we still have shrines. We still have memories that we need to go get. We have memories. Uh, we don't have the master sword yet, That's so right. we need to go get that. Um, and then it's up to you whether or not you want to power it up, Alex, because it's not necessary. Like, there's not story stuff to it. I don't think I can. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because it's well, like, yeah, because you have to do the master trials. Yeah, and I, I I I tried them and I didn't get very far. So yes, well, and they're boring. So, that that was my problem with the master trials. I probably would have done them if they weren't freaking boring. Were you gonna buy some new armor or something? No, I just want. No, he's gonna go. He's gonna go. Uh, just being a frazzle pura. He just wants to be because he's being a dick or a pie. Yeah, sorry. He just wants to be a master one. leak. That immodest outfit is quite unbecoming of a hero like you. This is my birthday suit. Please cover yourself up this instant, Alex. You're not allowed to do that again until you do it in real life. <laughs> Go find your Paya. If I did that in real life, I'd get arrested. Yes, you probably would. Unless you planned it. I sense it. Their presence. Baruch, Hermosa, Ravali, Mipha. A hundred years ago, I put my life on the line to fight alongside everyone. I could not protect them. They died without fulfilling their destinies. I lived all this time thinking they died in vain. But this energy I feel from their presence. It seems they have not given up. I can also sense they were all overjoyed to see you again. I can't remember. Does she do individual ones? Individual ones? Yeah, I know she does this one, but I, like, if you went and did Urbosa only, would she do... A story. Oh. I don't think she does. I have no idea. I actually. think she just does this one. Now is the time to attack Calamity Ganon. Yeah. While he is weak, hurry to the princess. Go now. No. <laughs> like, I mean, I I'm can't... answering for Alex. <laughs> yeah. Because he's going to say no. Yeah. Meanwhile, Zelda's like, I can't bloody hold this thing forever. Get your butt over here. I don't understand why we went British accent, but now I need more of it. Because Zelda has a British accent. Oh, well, this is true. She does. All right, time to get dressed again. But we got one more memory to go find. Well, we got more than one, but I want to go find that one. By oh, and in case people are oh, wait, interested, I can't do that to develop the memories. That's right. So if people didn't know this, after the Beavis and Butthead movie, Mike Judge is doing a Beavis and Butthead series on Paramount Plus. And at, I think it was at San Diego Comic-Con, he also alluded that he might have gotten the rights to bring back King of the Hill. So that might be coming back, too. I've been hearing about a King of the Re Hill reboot for he a while. He says he wants to do it. So, so that might be interesting. I would especially love to see Hank's take on a lot of the things that have happened. That might be fun. Like he just has one episode where it's just all catching up, and it's just it's just him going. <laughs> and then we watch the Easter egg interview where Mike Judge is like, "This is the worst thing I ever had to do." <laughs> yeah, we're playing Persona and and. Adam used the butthead voice for one of the characters. Oh, yeah. Come to butthead. Come to butthead. And his name is Brown, so it's, it's, it's just that much more appropriate. Right. So it's like, I can make a bunch of Pope references, and like, it makes sense. Hey, Beavis. Why can't we have a lot more, a lot more checks here? We need a score. Come to butthead. Oh, I can only imagine what what my judge is gonna get away with now that he's on a streaming service with Beavis and Butthead for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to see how that goes. 
What did I return? Did I do all the cocos? Did I return them all? I can't remember. Whee! Besides, a lot of the stuff that we do on, on these streams is like kind of sporadic. Yeah. So at that well, point. Can you, can you look up your mission log? I guess. <laughs> That's it. Oh, and really quick, I need to I need to mention this. So, um, Alex, we needed to talk to you about this because it's not just that we have well, the, the yeah I did this one yeah we we not only need to figure out when to do uh House of the Dead, mm -hmm. but you do know that a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game came out, right? Yeah, that is pretty much like the arcade game. Yeah, and more. Do we need to do that? For, for Dragon Shadow. I think we should. That would be fun, I bet. Because we could do that multiple times, because you actually have to play through multiple times to unlock all the characters. Like, in particular, I've heard that uh, the hardest one to unlock is Casey Jones. So, I kind of think we need to do that, right? Yeah. Okay. So, at that point, then I have an extended question. Are you aware of the Ninja Turtle Cowabunga Collection? I think vaguely. I think I've seen ads for it. Okay. So. so this got announced earlier this year. They are going to put all of the popular Turtles games all into one collection. Right. And it got a release date. It's next month. No, it will not be there for our vacation. Ah, uh, yeah. Bummer. I kind of wish it was. Yes, because it's going to cut. So it's so here are the games that's coming with it. It's, it's going to have the original TMNT arcade game. Right. The first time that thing has been available since early 360 PS3 days. Because Konami was a, was a douche nozzle and pulled it off. Right. <clears throat> the arcade version of Turtles in Time. Which in, so, like, nothing against the Super Nintendo version, because in my opinion, it's a perfect arcade port. But you can play the arcade version if you want. Uh, the NES Ninja Turtles is part of it. Nice. I know, I know James Rolfe is so excited. Um, we also will have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 NES game, which was their take on the arcade game, which actually adds a level onto it. Right. You will also have Ninja Turtles 3 on NES, which was another arcade type game. You will have Super Nintendo Turtles in Time, Hyperstone Heist for Genesis. Right. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighter that came out for NES, Super NES, and Genesis. All versions will be available on it. Right. Plus a bunch of Game Boy, Game Boy games. We, we might need to do, like, multiple playthroughs on this thing. Yeah. Just do an arcade night and just, like, have fun playing some beat-em-ups. Right. Okay. I'm totally excited for this. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. The only thing that Konami could do that would make me literally pee my pants is if they announced the Simpsons collection, which comes with the Simpsons arcade game. I don't care if it's got any other Simpsons games. I just want the arcade game. Right. Because the Simpsons arcade game and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game, like, that's my childhood in the arcades. Right there. So many quarters were wasted on those games. Hmm. I say wasted because we didn't beat the freaking thing. Yeah. In some cases, I picked wrong. Uh, I picked wrong teammates, and we didn't even get past the first level. <laughs> I love some of my neighbors. I love you dearly, but you all sucked. And you know why you sucked. <laughs> so I, I'm just saying that for the record. But now I can fix that. They know who they are and they, they can speak they for themselves. And actually, so going back to the, the whole we need to find games that we can play with Andrea, I actually do have some other suggestions that we can go to that I'll, I'll probably need to bring up to you. And some of them are indie, hmm. which I don't think you'd be against no. at this point. Because <laughs> how would you like to play uh, Cyber Shadow from the same people who made fucking Shovel Knight? That sounds like it could be fun. Yeah. So that, that might be what we have to do in that in that concept is just start doing that. Because I have a feeling that once September rolls around, um, there's going to be a game that you're going to be pushing for yeah. hard. 
Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. Okay, cool. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, Freedom Planet 2. Yes. Freedom Planet 2, I, I think it's like mid-September. Yeah, yeah, like a little bit after my birthday, I think. Yep. So you're definitely buying that as a birthday present for yourself. <laughs> definitely. Yes. There's no reason for anybody else to buy it for you, because you've already got it figured out. Mm-hmm. Do I have any fireflies? I hear the fireworks going. Yeah. Now, Alex, I, I, I do have one sad thing to bring up here today. Yeah. I'm cool. going to go broke this week. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go broke. I've got two games that I'm really excited for coming out this week. Mm -hmm. I have no time to play them. But I must have them. Right. Xenoblade 3 will come out on Friday. That's that's a rant on of itself. Nintendo, what the fuck? Every game comes out on Tuesday except yours. What the fuck? <laughs> You're the one that does Monday, oh, Wednesday, right. Thursday, Friday, except for Tuesday. But then I'll also... Another RPG that is coming out that same week, Live Alive, is coming out. And I'm excited for that one, too. Because it's basically Octopath Traveler meets Earthbound. I got 50 bucks. Was it worth it? Yes. For that grin, probably. By Firefly's Light. I think that might be all I need to do to trigger the shrine quest here. So, yeah. There you go, everybody. The shrine um, of the silver monkey. What's really sad, too, is like, I. so I'm working on playing through Xenoblade 1 and 2 before I get into 3. And I'm not going to be able to play 3 right off the bat because effing CDL training is taking a lot longer than I thought it would be. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, like I told your dad, like the biggest thing trying to figure out is trying to back that effing trailer. Because that trailer likes to move around all willy-nilly. Every time I make a move, it goes where I don't want it to go. Let's put it that way. It goes where I don't want it to go. Yeah. So... This is awful. But I will figure it out. It's going to happen. Keep your chin up. <laughs> I can't. I'm too busy watching the trailer. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was really oh, yeah, that's right. This quest. Yeah. So, because you, you just barely talked to that guy. I, we're not worrying about spoiling this quest, right? No. Me? You've seen it. Yeah, I've I've done it. I'm not worried about spoiling anything for you. We did all that, except for the Golden Poop Award. <laughs> we can fuck yeah, that. Yeah, I've seen you play the whole game through. Yes. Because F the Golden Poop Award. I saw that and I went, what do you think I am? EA Games? What the hell? No, uh, EA would make you pay for it. They would, actually. Yeah, they would. <laughs> They'd hide it in loot boxes. Yeah. <laughs> try, to, try, try to get all the Koroks from the loot boxes. That's what they'd do. Aw. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so there's a game that we've been watching on that's coming out for PS5 this year uh, that's basically supposed to be PlayStation's take on the Dead Space series. Here's something I didn't know, Andrea. It's from Dead Space's creator. Oh. He is making it. It's called the Callisto Protocol, if you guys haven't seen it. It it, it looks really good. So we, we, I think, guaranteed, we have to try it out now. Andrea, you don't get a shot, you, you don't get a, a say in it anymore. And then I'll pee my pants later. Yeah, I'm sure everybody comes to watch Andrea scream, and instead it's me. <laughs> yeah, it, I'm sure it'll be worth it. Well, I don't think me me peeing my pants is worth it, but okay. Okay, so just for the heck of it, so here is so I I brought this up. Here is Phase Five of the MCU movies. Okay. 
So phase five will officially start next year. Right. It will start with Ant-Man 3. So Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania! <laughs> uh, Secret Invasion is the next one. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will be part of phase five. Echo. Loki Season 2. This is the other thing that's going to be really annoying to some people is you have to watch the series, not just the movies. Ah, uh, yeah. Now this is getting uh -huh. Yes, because Falcon and the Winter Soldier is canon in the MCU. Right. So that that's a little bit of a problem, right? Yeah. In order to in order to be caught up for Doctor Strange two, you had to have watched WandaVision. 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 Uh, the Marvels, which is so this is Captain Marvel two, but because Brie Larson is such a bitch. Uh, she can't be the the feature of it anymore. They actually have to have three separate Mar Miss Marvel characters wow. in order to do it because Brie Larson can't carry a movie. It's almost like she should watch her fucking language when on a marketing tour. Uh, Blade. So <laughs> wow, Blade Marvel is coming Disney back. Blade. Oh, fucking God. Wow. Oh, God. It's going to be so toned down. Uh, Ironheart. Yeah, I knew that was coming. And it's not... I don't even think it's with uh, uh, Tony's daughter either. Uh, they got some Asian girl for it. Uh, Agatha, Coven of Chaos. So in order for that one to make sense, you had to have watched WandaVision and Multiverse of Madness. Daredevil Born... Oh, yes, this is the one I've heard about. So, this is the reboot, Alex, of the Netflix Daredevil. The one that was super ultra effing dark and now is being done by Disney. Anybody see the problem? Hmm. I can guarantee you they are not going to be able to do half the shit they did in the Netflix one uh, after that. Uh, Captain America, New World Order. Well, gee, I hope Steve Rogers comes to save the day. You know, the actual Captain America. And Thunderbolts is going to be the end of Phase 5 uh, in July of 2024. Do so I have to that, follow that guy? I know he's no, not the I guy, don't, but I don't. I don't know if I have to follow him to get the real person. No. You do, but I... I didn't. Okay. Do you have... Yeah, I don't think you have to follow him exactly. You just have to go to where he's supposed to go. I think this is it. Oh, yeah. This is the one I follow. Dorian. Okay, so... Phase four will begin in uh, August of that of 2024. It will begin with the new Fantastic Four. Yet again, the Fantastic Four. Where they'll mess up Doctor Doom again. There um, is <laughs> only Doom. And there will be two Avengers movies in it titled Avengers The Kang Dynasty, which is going to be Kang the Conqueror. Right. So not only the multiverse, Andrea, but time travel will be involved. Fuck my life. Uh, and then Avengers Secret Wars. So Secret Wars will probably, with their interpretation, it'll probably be like a... Uh, I was about to say crawl. Scroll invasion. Hmm. Is there ever going to be a time when we actually get a movie with Galactus? <laughs> no. No. Because that would be what people want. Oh, really? Yes. So they won't do it. And those are the only things that have been announced. Oh, I'm sorry. Phase 4 will be coming to an end with... With the She-Hulk series. She-Hulk! And Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Right. So that's going to be the end of Phase 4. And then Phase 5 will end with Thunderbolts. Which is a team that not a whole lot of people know about. So I wish I had more faith. Um, oh, oh, they, and they're actually going to reach, they're going to change it. 
So Thunderbolts, uh, a new movie starring a supervillain team that's about to reshape the MCU. So this is this is the MCU's take on Suicide Squad. I guess so. Yep. Yep. I'm already not interested. We have to do what DC did, even though DC failed at it. Except I have heard The Suicide Squad is better. Yeah, a lot of people said that. Did you see it? I haven't seen it. Okay. All I know is that John Cena got a series on HBO Max because of it, and apparently it had an, a, a Justice League cameo when they officially said that the DCEU didn't exist, which is weird. Oh, and uh, what what happened? What happened here? Oh, I see what happened. So, uh, so at San Diego Comic Con, they had a reveal of the Black Adam movie, starring The Rock. Right. And supposedly, I guess The Rock teased that Henry Cavill would be on the panel. And he didn't show up. Oh, too bad. So he got booed because Henry Cavill wasn't there. But The Rock wants to once again reassure that Superman is the key to disrupting the DCEU's hierarchy of power. Interesting. Sure he is. You're never going to get him back working for Mar for Warner. He ain't going to do it. Maybe with with Discovery, but... I kind of doubt it. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Wrong kind of. It appears we have an audience for my fallen master. You mean that fat ass? Cartman in a ninja outfit? Yeah, suck it. There we go. You enjoyed that way too much. <laughs> yes. That's okay. Most most fans did. Oh, yeah, that's right. It it wasn't his brother. It was his wife that was taken. Yeah. Yeah. Why did I think brother? Oh, he might have a brother in the village. That might be why. I don't remember this stuff anymore. Oh my gosh. Okay, I now need to see a picture of this. So, at San Diego Comic-Con, there was a Lego Bowser. <laughs> nice. Like, built from the ground up Bowser. <laughs> nice. It weighs four tons. Four tons? And comes in at 14 feet tall. Whoa. Composed of over 700,000 Lego bricks. Somebody sure... Loved it. And they made smaller versions that you can take home for only two hundred and seventy dollars. <laughs> How small? Uh, doesn't say actually. <laughs> Would you actually pay two hundred seventy dollars for that? Maybe i I'd go. I'd go see it. I'd go see the the Bowser that weighs four tons, but I would not pay for that. I'd be like, how much are those Legos actually? Can I build it myself? Oh, I can't? Okay, never mind. Because that's, that's... Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you buy a Lego, like, like a thing of Legos if you weren't intending on building it yourself? <laughs> yeah. I mean, for crying out loud, I'm already planning out a Christmas present where I'm thinking about getting, so they're going to do a Lego set based on The Office. And I have a friend who really loves The Office, so I'm going to get him that Lego set. 
Nice. So he can have it. Because I, I did something similar with uh, with the friend set that they did. See, I love shrines like this where the quest was done above. And so all you got to do is come claim the chest. Yeah. Come claim the prize. May the goddess smile upon you. Oh, it's not smiling. Probably because you haven't worked hard enough yet, motherfucker. There's 200 shrines in this game. You should have had them done by now. Only so much we could do, man. <laughs> it's a big world. It is actually a big <laughs> world. But Horizons is bigger. No, I'm kidding. All right. We got the memory at the castle, didn't we? Can't you I look? think we did. Let's see. You're right. I can look. Because that's the one at the castle, isn't it? Uh, the one on the corner. I don't think that's. Those are that's the compendium. Should be like should have like the towers in it, like the spires. That... Oh, that one. That one we haven't gotten. I cannot. Okay, yeah, we haven't got that one. Yeah, but that's not the castle technically. That's that's Hyrule, uh, Central Hyrule. Uh, this one? This... this one's the castle. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Um, Yeah, we don't have that one yet. Okay, let's go. But but we don't have the central Hyrule one. Uh, we can go find the central Hyrule Yay! one. Yay! Where is that one? Um, Price. So you see where the... Go, go back up. Go okay. back up. So you see like that, that horseshoe lake kind of area in central Hyrule? To your left. To your left a little bit. This one. No, left more. A little more left. Go, up, up. Go up. Up, up. Okay, right so there. you see that horseshoe lake? This one, I yeah. I believe that's it, or it's close to it. Because that's where where she did the... The knighting. The so knighting, the... so to speak, that everybody got bored at. Yeah. <laughs> everyone got bored. <laughs> that eventually we had the picture taken. Let's say cheese! No. Yeah. Oh shit, do you wonder why I just barely realized we can't end our Netflix subscription yet? I haven't watched the Dynasty Warriors movie yet. Damn it! <laughs> I still haven't finished Castlevania Season 4! Damn it! <laughs> Too late. I'll have to figure that out later, I guess. Uh-oh, you've been spotted. It's targeting your butt. <laughs> Does Link have a butt? I'm sure he does. He probably does. He's he is female fan service, so he probably does have an ass. An Americans one at, at best. <laughs> no, he does. He has a Hyrulean ass. There's a difference. Is he Sam Porter Bridges, Andrea? No, so he doesn't have America's ass. But technically, it would be Solid Snake that has America's ass. But not in the universe of Death Stranding. It's getting confusing already. I'll stop the joke now. I'll stop the joke now so that Hideo Kojima's uh, legal department doesn't sue me. They won't sue you for that. They'll sue you for implying that he's an assassin. What if I imply that he's awesome? Well... Look, they'll, maybe they'll send you a free copy of something. Ooh. You wish. Alex is giving me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. A free copy of, um... Of Death Stranding. Death Strand Death Stranding but I already two. have that. Two. The one that's in the works. I actually wouldn't mind that. <laughs> is it a review copy? Hell no. I don't get review copies. Especially like some people who think they deserve to get a review copy. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. I actually, I, I've, I've become of the opinion that review copies should no longer be a thing. Because everybody needs to be like financially honest with people. 
Like, is it worth your money? Oh yeah, by the way, thanks for, for giving me this for free. I'm totally not putting out a biased review. Yep, here it is. Okay, uh, give me, give me, give me a sec. Give me a sec. I can't think of one. Damn it. <laughs> uh, this isn't the right way. Did I put my pants back on? <laughs> that was for you, Bobby. Okay, everybody get ready to sleep. <laughs> I don't look bored. They all look bored. <laughs> He's like, what? Zeruk's like, this is getting awkward. You look Her boss is like, shut up! <laughs> look, you're... I'm your godmother, but shut up! She got abs. <laughs> she does. Actually, watching an anime this season that's got her voice in it. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like any anime that stars her, you're like, watching now. I'm like, guess asleep. <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was having a conversation with Alex. Do I have my pants on? <laughs> oh good, I have my pants on. <laughs> oh good, I wasn't in my underwear that day. <laughs> Andrew's kind of right though. He's got, oh, his, no! he's got his eyes down, so like he can technically be asleep. <laughs> what we secretly don't know is that Leek was against the pomp and ceremony anyway. <laughs> Choo choos. Go away, please. Ow. <laughs> Damn I'm glad it. This now, is I can't, now I can't mode. call you a show off. I'm still gonna show off. <laughs> Was all the choo choo jelly worth it? No. <laughs> It never is. Oh, now, oh, now Meepus Grace comes on. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's you a little mean, inconvenient that way. I charged a guardian and I didn't have Meepus Grace? Yep. Yes, you did. I think I need to sit down. <laughs> I am sitting down. <laughs> you are sitting down. That was fast. You might need to reconsider your life's actions. <laughs> At least your life's actions in regards to that. Uh, now for the town ruins, I uh, I can't remember even how to get there. Oh, there should be shrines around here. Well, there's a shrine inside. Yeah. But I don't think that's the one you want, because it's, it's deep in there and you'd have to get out anyway. But the real question is, can he find it in ten minutes? No. <laughs> Can he kill this thing within 10 minutes? Yes. All right. Well, there you go. Does Alex want to try and find it within 10 minutes? Not really. Okay. So maybe maybe this would probably be a good time to call it then. Yeah. Because uh, we have like 10 minutes left, uh, which is fine because oh. we got. Actually, I already opened that one. Oh, yeah, you did. 
Okay, then yeah. So yeah, uh, we've gotten a couple shrines done today. We got uh, we got the Javani done. Yeah. So we're very happy about that. So yeah, that's actually a good place to call it. So thank you guys so much for joining us on Dracut Shadow Live. I promise we'll get a little bit more regular at some point in the future. It'll happen. TM. TM. Um. Oh, soon. TM. Blizzard soon. TM. Uh, but it will definitely happen. So. Hopefully next Saturday that will happen, and we will figure out... Uh, did, have we figured out what's replacing Mega Man 8? I don't know. Maybe we did. I had an idea, but I actually think we're moving that to Brinton, because Brinton wants to be involved in it too. So right. if not, I'll I'll double-check it, and, and I'll, I'll get in touch with you, and, and we'll figure something out. But thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we will be back to... Actually, are we streaming tomorrow? I don't think we figured this out. Uh, we haven't decided that yet. Okay, so we might be streaming tomorrow, but if we're not, uh, on Monday, we will actually be doing our indie spotlight for the month, where we will be taking on a game that I've been wanting to play for quite a while now, called Loot River. So you guys can join us for that. Until then, have a good night, everybody. Stay safe, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs>